12.30. So you're all very welcome. My name is Joanne Faulkner and I'm a Shiatsu practitioner. Shiatsu practitioner, if I just move over here, you can see here. It's a little bit like acupuncture, but without needles. So Shiatsu works on the same acupuncture points as uh, acupuncture as the needles, but we don't use the needles. It's a very, very ancient system of medicine, traditional Chinese medicine, and I specialize as well in the energy of food. But this morning, you are here to learn about facial acupressure. And I think it's really important at this time of year, as we enter into autumn, that we keep the face clear and that there's no blockages in the sinus passages, there's no tension, because tension in the face doesn't allow the blood and the energy to move really well. And we need blood and energy to defend against incoming viruses. And these incoming viruses, they come through the nose, they come through the mouth. This is the first point of call. So often when we've worn a mask all day, it kind of keeps all that kind of warmth and stuffiness and it brings kind of excess moisture to all the internal passages and we can kind of feel kind of almost misty in the eyes and a bit foggy headed. So I'm going to show you some points now that will help to shift all that. So I would really recommend doing these after you remove your mask and even before you put your mask on. We are going into autumn so that there are lots of um, exercises that you can do. I teach Qigong every morning, lots of opening. We're going to be doing great bear swimming all throughout the month of October, opening up all these passageways. But I can show you some simple points right now. So taking your thumbs, just rub together your thumbs. So we're just making a little bit of warmth Good morning, Helena, I see you there. If you have any questions during the presentation, you just pop them in the chat and I can answer them. So I'm warming up the thumbs and then I'm placing them either side of the midline of the face and coming down either side of the nose, down to the bottom of the chin. Scoop it up around the jaw, go around the hairline and back up and over. Can you see I'm coming right to the bottom of the jaw? coming around the hairline and over here. So the spleen is really involved in the mutant system in Chinese medicine, the lung and the spleen. Spleen is the time of late summer, lung is the time of autumn. So it would be seen that the spleen is the mother of the lungs. So the two of these have to be kept really strong. So lots around the hairline, there's lots of spleen and stomach points. So that's what we're getting with these thumbs. We're going around up around the jaw and down over to the bottom of the jaw. Now, the next point I'm going to show you is CV, which is conception vessel 24. It's right in the dimple in the center of the chin, that kind of Kirk Douglas dimple. So just press into this point. And self shiatsu shouldn't hurt. It's not like if I get to a point that hurts, it's doing me good. It's really not like that. It's about connecting with your own energy and seeing how you feel. So, pressing into this. This point is also really good at relieving puffiness around the face. The face can tell us a lot in Chinese medicine. So the underneath the eyes would be for the bladder and the kidney and the color there would be blue black. So often we see blue black circles around the eyes when our kidneys are depleted. And the spleen would be around the top lip. So often if we get a dry top lip, that stomach and spleen would need moisture. Whereas the bottom lip would be large intestine. Is your large intestine, have you got constipation? Is there any moisture in the large intestine? So we move from there to the sides of the mouth. Again, spleen. If you find yourself with cracks in the corner of the mouth, you know, when you are eating, that means that you've been eating too many sugars, too many fats, and your spleen, duodenum, and pancreas is really suffering. So let's just give a massage around here. See if you can feel. Are your ears beginning to pop? The passageways in your head, can you feel them opening? 
Mm. So good stomach point. Now I'm going to show you three point facial, three point facial. So imagine that you have a line coming down through the center of your eye, either side, right through the center of the pupil of the eye. And when it gets to your cheekbone, just press underneath your cheekbone. And this really helps to clear the sinuses. See whether one side feels more stuck than the other. Like I said, don't go away with bruises. The idea is just to massage and just press into those points. I can really feel the inner ear opening up and they're getting a little like clicks and crackling almost inside the brain. Now, moving on to the next two points of the six point, point facial is, can you see at the bottom of my nose, if you feel around into there, there's almost like a little well, and that's made for your fingers or your thumbs. If you find you're pressing too hard, use your fourth finger because that's your weakest finger. So pressing into the points at the bottom of the nose, breathing in, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Very good, very good, very good. Now, last point of the six point facial is on the inner corner of the eyebrow, pressing into here. If you like, you can also pinch, pinch along the eyebrows. All here above the eyebrows is the liver, the liver points. And you kind of, the liver is all around frustration and tension and anger, whereas the opposite is creativity. So what we're doing here, you can often see when you get frustrated and angry, this is where you hold a lot of your tension. So just pinching along the eyebrows helps to relax the liver and pressing in the inner corner helps to relax the bladder. And the bladder and the kidney are really in charge of the adrenals and your and your excessive energy when you're really kind of going, 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 going. All right, so you've got six points there. We're going to do them all at once. So you can work out how you want to do this, but often I put the thumbs underneath the spleen, underneath the stomach three, put the fourth fingers and the third fingers go into the eyebrows. Now doing all these points together will really help open the sinuses, lift all the muscles in the face, tonify the face, bringing lots of blood. And wherever there's blood, you've got healthy muscles. You've also got the blood taking the um, excess materials and the lymph away. You're helping with lymphatic drainage. So you won't get a puffy face. You'll get a really wonderfully toned, uplifted face. This is the six point facial. Mm. Now, rubbing your hands together and just holding them over your face and just feel all the contours of your face with your fingers as you run down your face. Now, placing your fingers in your midline, just pull out to the side over to the eyebrow over the eyebrows to the temples and again out from the midline i've just washed my hair i thought i'd have more time to dry it before i went live but i did not so midline pulling out to the side really feel that tension dissolving away the midline pull from the midline right out over the skull. All of this helps blood flow to your skull, helps relieve tension. Now, taking your thumbs, just gonna rub under the occipital ridge. So that bony bit of the skull, just rubbing underneath there, underneath there. Rubbing, 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 rubbing. And I'm going to do a few to finish off. Feel how your face feels. Does it feel kind of more enlivened? 
I can definitely feel I can breathe better. So let's do a few to finish off. Here is a lovely Qigong move. 10 horses. Here's your 10 horses. And they're going to run through the forest. So 10 horses running through the forest. Really important if you've been wearing a mask, keeping your immune system strong. If you want to learn more of this, you can join me every morning, 8.30, and I send out the recordings to you to learn more Qigong and self Shiatsu. So let's finish with a wonderfully relaxing point. It's called the Yin Tang point, and it's right between the eyebrows. So even if you go away and you're like, what was she talking about? I can't remember any of those points. This is the one to take away with you. Really feel, you can close your eyes. And you should be able to feel after we've stimulated. First of all, we feel the chi. Then we move the chi, refine the chi and store the chi. Chi is another word for energy. So all of this you can learn with me. 8.30 every morning. It's only 20 euros for the month. And you get a mid-month health talk and a meditation. Just 20 euros for the month to learn all these quick tips and qigong, focusing for the month of October on the immune system, keeping it strong for the second wave and autumn. Boom! So pressing this point, and I can't help it, but I want to show you another one, just one more. Holding your thumbs at the top of your ears, bringing your middle finger over to the top. This one is called the Thousand Yang meeting point. So Chinese medicine is based on yin and yang, that we have that black and we have that white. I'm sure you're familiar with that symbol and that everything should be balanced and equal. But quite a lot, we can be very yang, active, talking, doing, here, there and everywhere. And our energy can very, get very, very yang. So this one releases all the yang from your mind. So excessive thinking. And if you do it at the same time as the yin tang point, You'll really feel in the center of your brain, the hypothalamus, pituitary and pineal. Do this regularly enough and you'll feel yourself glowing from the inside out. Right in the center of the brain called the crystal palace in Chinese medicine. So feeling your brain really like a crystal from the inside out, glowing. So I'd love to hear how that was for you. Would you just type in the comments, how does your face feel now? So remember, we started with the mid chin, came up and did this point either side of your mouth. And when then we did the six points, pinching along the eyebrows, mid scalp, pulling over, horses through forest, yin tang, a thousand yangs. So that's a really easy, easy system for you all to follow. If you've got any other questions, pop them in the comments there. Also, after this is finished and you've got any other comments, you can come back and ask me. You know, I, I do often pop on Facebook Live, so do follow me because uh, I often pop up and just post a little video. It's really easy. And self shiatsu is really easy. Just a way to love yourself and love your body more. Have a wonderful day. May you be happy and may you be well. May I be happy and may I be well. And may all beings all over the planet be happy, safe and well. Take it easy. Have a great day.